So name of next reading is mutual funds and hedge funds. Okay, again a new reading introduced in 2017 uh, FRM part 1 curriculum. So if you have any uh, background in the markets, if you worked in the mutual fund industry, then this is going to be a cakewalk because there's absolutely nothing challenging here, mostly theory and description of different type of products. But if you are kind of being exposed here for the first time that you should be wanting to spend some time and get acquainted yourself with the terminology. Okay. So first learning outcome, write down open end versus closed end mutual fund. Open end versus closed end mutual fund. So in order to kind of uh, put the concept across, I'm going to exaggerate a little, but just to kind of make things a little easy for you to imagine. So what is this? Exchange, no. Bank, no. This is an asset management company. This is an asset management company. And uh, who is this? Yeah, he's the fund manager. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Who are these? These are investors. And each investor, let's say, has agreed to put in 10 each. Okay, so we call this as NAV, NAV, net asset value. So what you get is unit of this mutual fund. Now, this particular mutual fund happens to be open-ended. This particular mutual fund happens to be open-ended. So, you buy an unit at the price of 10. So, how much is the money this fund manager has now? 50. Now, he puts that money into markets. Okay, so these are equity markets. And that 50 has now become 60. So, the moment that 50 became 60, this NAV value, which was originally 10, now it will become 12. And this is how you make money by investing into mutual funds. Right? So what you're just what you're doing is you're outsourcing the fund management to an expert who is who knows what he's trying to do rather than you doing it yourself. So multiple small investors will come together, they will pool in the money, and then that's how a mutual fund will collect it. Okay. Now this is, uh, who is this? Who is this? This is a new investor. Okay, new investor is uh, willing to buy into the fund. And this investor now thinks that I don't want to remain invested, I want to sell my fund. Okay, now in case if you want to sell, then you go to the asset management company and you make them a redemption request. A redemption request. Okay, you don't go to new investors directly. You just go to the fund manager. I mean, don't go physically. You just kind of fill up a form and send it across. That's called redemption request. What fund manager will do is, out of his portfolio of 60, he will sell securities in proportion worth 12. He will sell securities worth 12. He will take that cash. He will give that to you. Now this fund man this new investor wants to invest. So he will go to the fund manager again. They don't go to each other. He will go to the fund manager. He will put up a subscription request. Subscription, subscription request. And how much will he have to pay? 12. And then fund manager will take that money and invest that proportionately. This is how an open end mutual fund works. Are we okay with this? So in India, now this structure is the most popular structure for mutual fund schemes. Now, this is the alternate structure. Look at this carefully. This is now closed end. Now tell me what is this? Be careful. Very smart, AMC. And who is this? Fund manager again. And who are these? Yeah? Lollipop. I'm going to go to So, you invest 10 each, and now the fund manager has how much? 50. 
he takes that money and he puts that in the markets and now it has become 60 okay so ideally that unit would be worth how much 12 now what is this now this is an exchange okay so you can think of uh, national stock exchange and this investor here now he wants to sell wants to sell so in order to be able to sell now he will have to come here on the exchange and we have a new investor here okay this is a new investor who wants to buy then both of them will transact with each other on an exchange okay and they might do a transaction at 11.50 okay it is not necessary that a close ended fund will always trade at come on tell me it will always trade at NAV it might trade at discount to NAV okay in India in fact some of the funds so in India closed end funds are not very popular and the markets are not liquid for example if you want to buy and sell you would realize that there is no liquidity so there are certain funds you can buy at a discount of almost 23 to 24 percent to the NAV so if the NAV is 10 rupees you can buy those funds at seven seven and a half okay and then those investors who have the liquidity appetite those investors who can wait till the time fund matures it, typically there is a lock-in period of three years five years so then those to those investors I recommend buying those funds okay because you get them at a discount to the market price so even if that mutual fund doesn't move you're at least going to earn those 24 out percentage is that okay hmm? so you can make this quickly I recently there was a nice story in economic times let me show you so this was a story in economic times so I, we don't have time to read the story but this is what I want you to see so these are uh, some of the closed end funds now like closed end funds in India are not selling at this moment they're very difficult to sell and therefore uh, most of the retail investors the preference is towards open end but some of the funds which were sold in the past and it's not that they're not sold anymore but the volume of uh, open end is substantially higher compared to closed end so look at this uh, this is the last credit price and this is the NAV so NAV is calculated as what are the total assets with the asset management company minus liability divided by number of units so if that mutual fund company decides to sell off all the assets pay off all the liabilities and then pay to every shareholder each shareholder will receive 9.39 but the traded price for this mutual fund was 8.45 okay and maturing is January 18 so January 18 from the date of this article uh, when is that August 30th so January 18 were how many months August 38 2016 so about 18 months is that correct so 18 months to maturity and discount on the NAV was 11.12 percentage now look at this 18 plus additional 3 20 months to maturity and discount to NAV is 35 percent so imagine imagine you don't imagine the fund does not move in price at all you buy into this fund and even then in those 18 odd months you are going to earn 35 percent and I believe that's a really good CAGR of course only downside is if you invest into the fund and fund NAV itself dips significantly but then that's a risk that we have to take so this is how uh, closed end funds typically trade in India are we okay and that happens because of lack of liquidity